All right, pre-calculus. Let's move into matrices and systems of equations. We are on lesson seven, four, and matrices and systems of equations. This is some of my top, top stuff. I love this. We're always gonna talk about a matrix as M times N. Why they use an M and an N, I don't know. Um, I like to say as an RC, because some people can think, oh, RC, remote control. I don't know, that helps some people. So we're always gonna talk about it in this order. Our essential question today is how to use matrices to solve systems of equations. So we're gonna use a ton of matrices to solve systems of equations. Let's look at example one. Example one says determine the order of each matrix. This first one is a one by one. And you'll see why, because when we move on to the others, notice this is three rows by one column. So this will be a three by one. Notice this is three rows by three columns. So this will be a three by three. And last, I have two rows by four columns. And this matrix will be a two by four. The next word that we're gonna learn is we're gonna learn how to write the augmented matrix for the system of linear equations. We worked with these a little bit in Algebra 2, and as you notice, there are invisible ones before these coefficients without numbers, so I'm gonna fill those in. And we write this rows by columns, and I always do like a dotted column for the answer. So across, I have one, 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 and two. On the next row, middle row across, I have two, negative one, three, negative one. And the last row across, I have negative one, two, negative one, and four. And this is called an augmented matrix. All right, so if you get nothing out of today, I do need you to get these three steps. So these are gonna be like second nature to you. You will have no trouble with these but we do need to know them. We're gonna start solving matrices by hand using what we call elementary row operations. The steps that you could use, number one, we can interchange two rows. Number two, you can multiply a row, one row, by a non-zero constant. I wanna multiply everything through by two. Number three, you can add a multiple of a row to another row. Well, that sounds like a lot, and we'll see what they're talking about very soon. So the first question on number three, it says perform the following row operations. They want us to switch the first and the third row. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this third row and write it as the first row. One, two, negative three, and four. And the middle row is gonna stay the same, zero, three, negative one, and two. And the last row is now gonna be what the first row was, one, three, four, and zero. The next question is just telling us to only multiply the second row by negative one half. Are we even touching the first and the third rows? We are not. So we still have one, zero, three, six in the top, and five, seven, nine, four in the bottom. But I am taking this middle row and I'm multiplying it by negative one half. Negative a half times two is negative one. Negative a half times negative eight is four. Negative a half times four is negative two. And negative a half times zero is still zero. So remember, we only changed this row right here. So this is the row that was changed. The last operation that they're asking us to do is they say add negative three times the first row to the second row. Now when they give a question like this, it's really important to know that we are only changing the second row. 
So my first row is still going to be 4, 5, 9, negative 1. And my last row will still be negative 2, 7, negative 3, and 1. And what they're doing is they're asking us to take negative 3 times the first row, and then we are going to add it to the second row, which looks like this. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, plus 0 is negative 12. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15, plus 5 is negative 10. Negative 3 times 9 is negative 27, plus 2 is negative 25. And negative 3 times 1 is positive 3, plus 3 is positive 6. So again, if they're telling you to do something with the first row to the second, remember that last row they're talking about is really the only thing that is changing. So the top first row and the bottom third row did not change, only that second row changed.